Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ms. Rock Snyder's Daily Rambles. Today we are doing The Flash and we're doing season one, episode 16, and it's called Rogue Time. So let's start off with um, Barry is very disoriented. And now it's Barry the fortune teller. He's basically predicting everything that's happening. And then um then he uh, goes back. He's basically what he does is he goes and sees um, everything that's happening, and he's already putting stuff out. He's already avoiding stuff. And so he, when he goes back to Star Labs, Wells says he can't hear anything. Don't tell me anything that's happening ever. And then we have Wells goes to the secret room, and then we have where Barry uh, went ahead and captured Tom Martin anyway. Because basically what Will said is, like, time is very, very sensitive. It's a very sensitive thing. If you do something to try to change something, something worse will happen and later on, and you'll regret that. But, uh, so he's like, I, I don't care. And he basically goes to capture his Martin anyway and puts him in jail, and there you go. And then Wells warns him about what's going to happen, and then... We find out what it is. Um, Snart and Mick talk to some type of crime family and basically says, you can vacate the town now because we're back and we're taking over. Then we're at uh, Cisco's brother's house with uh, Caitlin and then we cut to uh, Wes is um, suspicious about and there's just all kinds of awkwardness happening so he's just kind of just leaving it alone he's just like i don't know what's happening and then it's at cisco's brother's house again and it's um his birthday party and basically the brother is really stuck up he's a stuck up person and is always putting down cisco and he tries to be nice but it doesn't really work um cisco tries to be cordial and stuff and so they leave the party, and then Barry and Linda break up, and they have the news reporter, and then Barry interrupts him, says, like, you're wrong, blah, 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 and keeps going. Then you have awkward Barry with Iris, like, really awkward. And then um, that does not go well, at e go well either. And then, uh, girl, uh, then Barry and Cisco are at a bar. And a girl um, is hitting on them, but um, that's persistently for Cisco, and that's awkward for Barry. And <laughs> he's like, okay, I just want to scooch on over. And he gives um, Cisco like a... <laughs> and then, uh, so they kiss, and they go back to this house, and it turns out the girl is Snart's sister. And then Cisco's brother got kidnapped, and then sister wants a cold gun. Okay. And then we have Cisco makes the weapons, and then it's more awkwardness between Iris and Barry, and Barry tries to kiss her and says, we got feelings for each other, and blah, 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 because he's thinking about the other timeline. But Iris shuts Barry down, and then they have a kiss. Then we cut to a casino fight, and then Barry takes um, Snart's sister, and then we have Eddie punches Barry at the crime scene for the Cisco um, for the casino, and then Wells and Barry talk, and then there's Cisco family drama, and it's like a brother pity party. They all feel sorry for each other and about themselves and all this type of stuff. And then the brother tries to be like the the hero and goes after Nick, but Captain Cold asks for um, Flash's name because also he comes in and then freezes his brother's hands and then asks for Flash's name and then yeah, so he actually ends up giving him um, Barry's name. So when Cisco goes back to Star Labs. That's our, is he okay? And Cisco wants to quit, but Barry forgives him and says, don't worry about it. And then Will also asks him to stay and encourages him. And then we have Will's um, saying, um, sees him as a son. 
And then we cut to the snark goes after the money. And then Barry shows up. And then the casino people get away. And then Barry and Snark talk. And basically, so basically they put the money in a truck. And the truck is going um, down a route. And so Mick and Snark and Snark's sister are going after it. And so Barry just gets Snart and pulls him to the side. It's like, look, you need to stop doing this. I don't care what you're doing. Just go somewhere else and do it. And then he says, and he tells him to stop killing. And Captain Cole's like, your secret is safe for now. And then um, they, he just leaves them stranded. <laughs> and then uh, we cut to where um, there are jitters and then... Um, Eddie hugs Barry and Kaylin covers for Barry and, you know, makes everything okay again. And then we have the news reporter dies by the reverse flash and destroys the drive that has all of Will's shady information on there. Then Barry sees a guy is missing and then Barry and Joe talk about Will's. And that's the end of the episode. What? So anyway... <laughs> It was a really good episode. Actually, I really enjoyed it. Um, it's very interesting on how time is very sensitive and it's always changing and I always determines to do something else in place of another bad event. So uh, it's very crazy about what um, happened, but I really do like where everything is going. So I'll give this episode A+. Plus, and that's what I do for this video. I kind of want to keep it kind of short-ish. <laughs> but we're still going to check it out. Keep it under eight minutes. So um, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later. Have an awesome, awesome day. Bye, everybody.